Hello, welcome to the complete video guide of enabling continuum support in capable but unsupported Windows 10 mobile devices. So, what is Continuum in the first place? Watch this official trailer to get an idea. Continuum is a feature Microsoft announced in 2015 during the release of Lumia 950 and 950 XL devices in device event. The idea was to give user a workable Windows desktop-like experience when projecting to a PC, monitor or TV. The user get to choose between wired and wireless methods to use Continuum. The wired method involves a display dock like the Microsoft HD 500, the wireless method is using Miracast technology. The somewhat disappointing thing was that it was only available in Lumia 950 and 950 XL devices among all the Lumia device line. It was not even available for high ends like Lumia 930 and 1520 as well. Microsoft stated that it's due to hardware differences. Although that does not mean it will not work in other devices. But there are limitations when enabling and we will list them after this intro video. So, with this guide, we will show you how to enable Continuum in other capable devices too instead of only having it for Lumia 950 and 950 XL devices, every device which supports Miracast technology can use this guide to enable Continuum manually. Although there are some limitations due to hardware difference in old devices when manually enabled. Also I have to mention that once Continuum is installed using this guide, you can only get rid of it by reflashing the device. If you feel okay with these, Continue to the next chapter to start enabling this feature in your device. First download both of these files from links in video description. The first one is the Continuum Cabs and the second one is Util to push them to phone. When open the Continuum Cabs folder, you can see several folders named Windows 10 Mobile Build Versions which includes Continuum Cabs. This is due to how feature updates like Continuum are intended. You should not flash a cab made for a different OS build to your phone if your phone isn't running the same OS build. Now, let's choose the cab for your phone. In your phone, go to Settings, then to System, and then to About. Click More Info and take a good note of the OS build number. Now delete all other folders except the one matching your OS version. After that, let's install iUtils in your PC. If you don't have a PC, you can use IUWP app to install the cab in your phone without PC. Refer to the video about IUWP to get to know how to download and use it. So what to do if the OS version you have in your phone isn't among the list? We have included only the most used production releases only cause if we had to cover others, it will be huge list and will be pointless. In such case, you can either request for the cab for your OS version in our support group or update or downgrade to a supported OS version by this guide and apply continuum. That is all, what next is the enabling. First thing to do is to push the continuum cab file to your phone. Like said before, only choose the cab which matches the OS build in your phone and also you can use IUWP if you don't have a PC for Util. First go to the displayed path in your PC file explorer. Once you get there, click on the address bar and type CMD, then press enter. That will open a CMD within that parameter. Now start typing the command. In the double quotes, copy and paste the full address to the continuum cab. End double quotes, double check the command and the path and check the phone is plugged to the PC via an USB cable. Then hit enter to trigger IU tool to push the package to the phone, you can check the progress in phone by going to Windows Update Settings. Once the progress reach 100%, your phone will automatically reboot.
Then the typical updating process will happen which is the rotating cogs. Once that finished, your phone will boot back and do the data migration steps. The Continuum feature is now installed. Go to App List and you will see that Continuum is now there. But we can't use it yet, we have to enable it in Registry. To do that, go open Interop Tools. Choose this device as the provider, then open Hamburger Bar. Expand Tweaks section and click Tweaks. There, the tweak we need is the first one which is, Force Continuum via Miracast. As we have installed the MS Docking Cab which is the Continuum Cab, we can turn it on, then restart the phone. After the reboot, you can use Continuum now. Let's do a test run to display the functionality. Go open Continuum app. Choose the wireless adapter option. Make sure Wi-Fi is turned on in both your phone and the receiving device. Then click connect. Choose your receiving device and click on it to connect. I will be connecting to a Windows laptop. There we go, Continuum in action. I will skip the trailer. You can control the cursor using the virtual touchpad in your phone. You can run almost every UWP app in Continuum environment and our Windows Universal Tools application is not an exception as well. Although every Silverlight app, in other words, Windows Phone 8.1 and lower apps will not work in Continuum, they will be grayed out. That is all for this guide, goodbye.